right, today I want to talk about poor customer service in, um, in this business of online marketing. And I want, I want to, I'm very curious as to how many of you experience the same thing. So I would love to hear your response. You know, you could comment about it. Um, tell, tell me and the audience, you know, but I'm wondering if, if I'm the only one seeing this pattern or if this is something that's widespread. I believe it is. I don't know what it is, but any of these online businesses, and I'm talking about marketing businesses, they have the worst customer service. They're very rude and obnoxious. And when I talk, when I'm talking about marketing business, I'm not talking about us as affiliates, people who promote these products and services. I'm talking about the people behind these product and services. You know, the, the company, I, I, I mean, I'm just going to run them right down. There's a program called uh, Safe, Safe List Pirate. Safe List Pirate comes out. They touted this thing as a great system to help you with Safe List. And, you know, you could, you know, uh, send your email out. To, uh, I don't even remember how it works. <laughs> I forgot how the whole thing works. But in either case, this, it didn't work. It didn't work. So I wrote back to, to support and I said, okay, you have a, this new program out, but it's not working. There's way too many bugs. They would write back and say, sir, we're working on it if you could have a little bit of patience. I wrote back again. I said, you should not have released this if it wasn't ready. I just spent the money and I want to get a return on my investment. They write, write back again and say, well, you contact, contact uh, contacting us isn't going to help us fix it any faster. Uh... Blah, 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 just excuse after excuse after excuse. Instead of just saying, we apologize, we have, have a mistake here, we don't know what went wrong, but we're working on it. This went back and forth for a while because they never fixed it. Finally, they sent a message, and a very rude message saying, understand this, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. You have to do this, 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 and this. If you do that, that's how it works. And they did, just did all this stuff. They were making... Rude comments in the message, um, saying that if you don't like the program, why don't you just dump it? Things like that. So then I wrote back and I said, uh, first of all, I don't care for your root, your rude tone, but maybe you should be actually very clear in what works and what doesn't and what you can do and can't do. Instead of selling someone something and saying it can do all this when it can't. And not only that, but releasing it when it's got too many bugs. You should have those bugs fixed first. Period. Period. So that was a horrible uh, product. I don't use it anymore. And I just found their customer service and their support team to be rude and obnoxious. Not only that, but I always stop, start my first email the same way. Typically, hello, how are you? I just purchased your product. I'm excited about it. However, there seems to be these issues with it, blah, 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 blah. And the response is always rude. Always. That leads me to Pure Leverage. Pure Leverage, great company. Joel um, is, is a great guy, if you know who he is. Uh, I believe he truly cares about his company and his customers, and he wants people to succeed. However, his, um, his support staff is another story. And I believe that he uh, has his support team overseas. Um, uh, I can't think of what that term is. Uh, Outsourcing. I believe he outsources his support team. Well, my website was having a problem. I couldn't post my blog, my blog post on my site. Having a problem with it. I was getting frustrated because it was costing me money. I need to be working every day. That's that's the whole point here. I, I need to be doing it every day. And so I had my business shut down and I was disappointed in it. So I wrote to the, to the uh, support staff. I was friendly. I said, hey... Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but it seems that after this happened, when uh, there was an update with Word, WordPress, and now I notice this problem, this problem, and this problem. Could you please look into it? Two days later, no response. I say, hey, did you get my message about this problem, this problem, this problem? They write back and they say, what seems to be the problem? So they didn't read my messages. Then I explain it and they say, well, we looked at your site, it's fine. I'm like, it isn't fine. I, I've tested this on multiple computers, it's the same problem. Please look into it. Another person takes over. And here's the thing, every time it's a different person. So there's no person assigned to the, your support case and then who will help you along the way. It's just random people. Each day someone new takes over. Well, that's a problem because each person now has got to learn what, what the problem is. 
Each person's got to ask you the same questions. It's just a, it's like starting over every single day and it's nonsense and it wastes my time. Finally, I had enough and I had to go and, and stop everything I'm doing to figure out what they get paid to do. What our fees are paying. Our memberships pay. So I figured out what the problem is. I told them and they denied it. Until finally one day, the last person, this is after a month of this, the last person saw what I said, looked into it, and I was right, and they fixed the problem. But then after that, because their communication sucks so bad, I kept getting random emails every day from different people in support saying, did you fix your problem yet? Please let us know. Did you fix it? I wrote to you. I said it was fixed. Next day, another message comes out. Horrible. Horrible. Now let me talk about Hercules. This is today. Hercules is a safe list. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I do not like safe lists. I downright hate them. I think they, they are a colossal waste of time, especially if you're not a paid member and you are reading all of those emails just to get those credits. Think about the amount of time you spent clicking on those emails to get those credits to how many sales you've made and how long it took to get those sales. And then do the math, divide the, the amount of money you make, and that, that'll tell you whether or not it's worth it. For example, um, one, one particular day with some of my safe lists, I made maybe two sales. It was $80. But yet I spent, I don't know how much time I, I spent. Uh, let's see. It was probably a couple weeks before I finally made those sales. So that means that really in the end, I believe if I remember the math I did on that, it ended up being like I, as if I made $4 an hour. That's not worth it. Nope. I'd rather be making a lot more money than, money than that. I don't want to be making $4 an hour. Not going to work. Not going to work. In any case, uh, I belong. I was a gold member of Hercules paying, so I wouldn't have to go read all those, those emails. And every day, every morning, I get to uh, email out my, uh, my solo ad, basically. But the results were weak. One day, I'd get three opt-ins. The next day, zero. Next day, one. Then zero again. And it's understandable. There are thousands of members. And when I say thousands, I mean thousands and thousands and thousands of members all receiving all of this, these emails, every person trying to sell every crap that's out there. And it's very hard to stand out. Some of my headlines were good, so I'd get people, people signing up. But I noticed that with the people from Hercules, they, they don't buy. They're tire kickers. They're not interested. They're just curious, but they're not willing to do the work because for what I have, it was free. All you got to do is get in, sign up, and then it's free, but they wouldn't do it. In either case, finally I had enough and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I can't keep doing this. I can't spend money every month on this. That money needs to go towards things that actually work. So it was two o'clock the morning last night. I knew that I had until the 10th of the month to pay. So I, uh, I go to cancel it and they have no easy way of canceling it. So I had to uh, just unsubscribe and then I had to directly email, email them to say cancel my account. At the same time, I went to PayPal to, to make sure that I was unsubscribed from their subscription so I wouldn't get charged. When I went to PayPal, I saw that I actually got billed two days earlier. So I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm supposed to get billed on the 10th. So I sent the email saying uh, I need to cancel my account. It was very short, very quick. It's 2 in the morning. I didn't feel like writing my whole life story and just said, uh, by the way, I noticed you charged me two days ago and not on the 10th. I'm going to need a refund on that because it was two days ago. I'm not emailing or using their service anymore. So I'm not going to pay for a month I'm not going to use. This morning, I got a very rude, obnoxious email from their customer service, just being absolutely obnoxious and disrespectful, saying that uh, making claims of my tone in the email, I had no tone. All I said was, I want to cancel, and you billed me two days earlier, I'm going to need a refund. That's it. So they went and made all these judgments based on a tone that doesn't exist. They um, were rude to me when I'm the customer. The way they should have dealt with it is, oh, I'm sorry to see that you're, you're, you want to cancel your account. We went ahead and, and did that. Um, 
just so you know, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we actually bill in 30-day cycles, 30-day uh, increments. So um, it may not always fall on the 10th. And that's this month it happens to have fallen on the 8th. Um, I, I apologize for that, but um, in either case, um, we, have off, we have given you your refund, and we do hope that someday you come back to us. That would have been great. I've had other companies do that, and guess what? I return. But in their case, it was very downright obnoxious, and then treated me as if me being a customer didn't matter. Well, I, we have other customers who do pay, or we have other customers who do like our service. So we have, they were making it like you don't matter as a customer. So why would we want you to come back? That's not how you do it. That's the worst customer service ever. Every person matters. Because what happens if, let's say, um, I become a marketing superstar. Let's say that I start bringing in thousands of people and all those thousands of people are getting my messages telling them to go to Hercules. That's a lot of money those people are going to make because of me. So you always have to think that every customer is important. Every one of them. And if you're going to be good in customer service, if you don't like what they say, you don't start off right away with a, an argument or disrespecting them. Now, if they come back to you and they're starting to be rude and obnoxious, in that case, you can lift a little bit of the friendliness because now they're just being downright awful. But you don't start off the conversation by doing that. You want to keep their business. You want them to come back if they cancel. So this went on for uh, an hour or so today, just a couple of hours ago, of them just being rude. And I, I told them, right, I'm telling you right now, you have no respect for customers. And they just keep harping on the same thing. And then they go, well, your tone. We didn't like your tone and your accusations and uh, threats. Threats? There were no threats. None. All I said was that you billed me too early. I want my refund back. That's it. And I didn't need to cancel my account. And then I had to explain to them, I canceled my account not because of the fact that you charged me two days earlier. I canceled my account because I can't keep paying for it. Oh, well, your tone, though. You cannot tell tone in a text message, period. Text email, a text on Facebook, a text on Twitter, any kind of text message of any sort. You can't tell someone's tone. Why do you think they have those little, what do you call them, emo what do you call those little yellow faces with the smiley face or the sad eyes, emotion, I can't even say the word. They begin with an E, you know what I'm talking about. Why do you think people put those in there? Because that shows the emotion. I could say, oh, look, it's raining outside. How do I sound? Stunned like I didn't know it was going to rain? Or I could, I could do it, oh, look, it's raining outside, as if I'm angry. Or I could look out the window and go, it's raining outside, like I'm excited about it. I can go post that on Facebook, it's raining outside, and people could read it in any way that they want without actually knowing the truth of how I really feel. So that's why I would put the little yellow face. If I'm sad, it would be a little yellow face with the sad mark. It's raining outside. If it's happy, it'd be a smiley face. So you cannot, and I tell you right now to every person who's watching this video, do not judge any kind of text don't, by, by, and, and assume it's tone. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a mistake. I'm going to make a separate video. Look for this video. I'm going to try to link it to this one. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about how, uh, how, what that does and the consequences of judging a tone, how bad it is. I'm going to tell you a story about it. Um, but I don't want to keep going with this video. I think I made my point. Uh, this is, I, I gave you some examples, but I see this all the time. All the time. And it's always related to online businesses um, where the customer service is awful. They just act like you don't matter. Who cares? And they can talk to you any way they want. They can get rude with you. I had one guy, um, just because of a concern I made, to his actual complaint department. In his system, he had what was called complaint department. 
So I sent a message to the complaint department because of a concern I had. He shut down my account. That account hurt my business big time. I actually, I actually had to call him up and say, hey. Thankfully, he reinstated it. But again, he went and judged the tone by what was typed, assumed he knew what I was, my attitude was, and then makes me pay? That's, that's not right. You don't treat customers that way. If, in that case, that was a system that held my website, that held my capture pages, my tracking. I was running a solo ad, and he shuts it all down. That's basically like, oh, I don't like what you said. I'm shutting your business down. And that's what he did. And when I explained that over the phone, and I said, you shut my business down, and he goes, no, I didn't. I said, yes, you did. Yes, you did. My whole business is linked to your system. Everything. You, when you shut it down, you shut me down. That's how bad it is these days. Nobody respects anybody anymore. And especially these companies. They make their money so they don't care. Marketing systems. The, 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 you seek help from them. If you're confused on an issue, they tell you. And you will see this if you join a marketing system to contact me for help. And then they will get rude about it. Did you not watch our training video? I'm, or, or I've had some where they're like, one guy is, I'm so sick of this complaint. Blah, 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 blah. And I'd have to write back and say, yeah, I'm not complaining. I was actually asking you about this and how this works. And then they would write back and go, oh, oh, I just misread because I get so many emails like this. You know what? No, I don't give a shit if you get a lot of emails like that. Treat the customer with respect. That's it. Anyways, video ran a little long. Um, I could talk about this for hours, honestly, um, and you would probably get bored, but uh, I'm just so fed up with it, and uh, it's happening too much, way too much, and especially in the marketing business. Some of the, the rudest companies and rudest customer services right here. Um, they're just... It's 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 wrong. It's wrong, and it, it needs to change. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the video. To become a subscriber of my channel, click on the big red button. And hey, while you're at it, please visit my website at jrwork.biz. There's a lot of cool stuff there, money making opportunities, and you might find some surprises as well. But it's a secret. You have to go there to find out. <laughs>